Hey everyone, uh, welcome to another video. Um, this is gonna be a really quick, really quick little video. Um, yesterday I made a video about perspective and in the comments it came up at, um, about how to create a perspective grid in Photoshop and someone didn't know that there was like a very easy way of doing it. Um, so this video is gonna be about that, all right? I have a Dutch version of Photoshop, uh, so I might not be able to like tell you exactly what, but I hope you can just see what I click and then I tell you if I know, all right? So the first thing you gotta do is uh, select the polygon tool, all right? That's that's this one, I hope you can see that. Uh, then you gotta change a couple of options up here um, to make it work, all right? So first you're gonna have to fill on, uh, on, on this one that's pretty much saying no fill. Then you're gonna have the line saying it is going to be black or, or whatever color you want, it doesn't really matter. You're gonna have the line on one per, one pixel, that's also all fine. And uh, actually the most important thing to make this work is under the settings button here, the little wheel, where you uh, pretty much have to like deselect everything except star and then this thing that is saying normally I think it says like 1% mm, change that to 99% otherwise it doesn't work then change the sides to uh, you know, pretty much whatever you want but I normally have it on 100 or 70 or something like that if I use it I do, I do it like that okay so uh, first I'm gonna go back to the brush and I'm gonna make a quick horizon line which which you can also do in the perspective crit thing but um, yeah okay so now I'm back to the polygon tool and then I'm just gonna hold the shift key and I'm going to use it like this and then I just hit enter and I have a uh, one point perspective pretty much then when I get back to the brush tool and I click it it's gonna say like do you want to transform the layer you're gonna go like yes uh, and now you could even either use this like as the perspective grid like this as a one point perspective or you can of course just like duplicate it and then move them to the sides oh. you see to create a two point perspective oh. all right and then uh, of course you can just like you can move it up so you can like easily paint down or paint up you can just play around with it and uh, get it to work in your advantage all right so I hope that was clear enough uh, I know it's short uh, if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments uh, press the thumbs up if you like the video uh, subscribe to the channel and I uh, hope to see you guys soon all right Thank you very much. Bye.